growing up, my daddy was a pastor of a small Baptist church. And I'll never forget one Sunday, we were all gathered together in the morning, and it was just black outside. I mean, the storms were just kicking in and raging. And Daddy, he's up there, he's he's getting into his preaching. I mean, he's hammering down, you know, and, and the lights are kind of flickering in there. We got these nice chandeliers just kind of lined up everywhere. And so... As the service goes on and he gets more and more into it, you know, we're everybody's kind of freaking out about the storm outside. We don't know if we're going to get taken away by a tornado or, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure at one point I glanced over and seen a cow go by the window. But nonetheless, Dad's, he's hammering down. He's stomping his feet, you know, and he's, he's yelling at the top of his lungs. And I can just kind of see these chandeliers rocking back and forth with the powers that are coming out of his mouth and the volume that he's stomping his feet around. As I was sitting on my pew, I did not know that the next 45 minutes of my life was going to turn into a Jerry Springer church show. Because when Dad stomped that last Amen out, that chandelier came loose from the ceiling and it fell straight towards the front pew. And bless that old lady's heart, she was just sitting there. She didn't know what was going on. You know, I don't know if she was tuned in listening or if she was about to be tuned in forever. That chandelier came straight down on her head. And when it did, it just it knocked her out. She falls in the floor. And, I mean, she's not moving. It wasn't the Holy Spirit that knocked her out. No, 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 no. It was the chandelier that knocked her out. The whole church goes completely silent. We're all gasping for air, just witnessing what just happened. Except for Daryl, three rolls back from me. No. He's grasping his heart because he was just one incident away from going into cardiac arrest and having a heart attack. So he falls out on the floor. He's just, he's flailing, uh, you know, and everything's just kind of going wrong. Dad's got, still got the mic in his hand. He's trying to look and see how much damage is done to this lady's face. And then he's just, he didn't know what to say. So he's just like, somebody call 911. I guess the whole dad saying 911 triggered something in schizophrenic Susan because it just, everything registered to her that it was a glorious service. So she gets up, she's skipping around. She's hallelujah, hallelujah. She's running around the church and then Jim in the back, back there stands up, starts talking in tongues. We're in a Baptist church. Four people around him are like, this is not the time, Jim. It's not the time. As schizophrenic Susan's making her last round around the church, the door, the front door of the church is knocked down. The ambulance comes in, and I can't imagine what was going through their mind. They come in. They look. There's a guy over here in the back left talking in a different language that nobody's ever heard of. There's a lady with glass all around her face in the front pew, knocked out. And then there's a guy grabbing for his heart, flailing on the ground in pain. And then you've got a nice young lady skipping down through the aisle saying, Hallelujah! He took one good look, and he grabbed his radio, and he said, uh, we're gonna need backup. Shortly after the second ambulance arrives, you know, they're, they're hauling dude with heart attack out. They're checking lady with the concussion going on. Jim won't shut up. Susan won't sit down. And so they finally get them out, you know, and the crazies have kind of settled down. Everybody's sitting down. Dad kind of walks back up and everybody's still in awe and shock at what, what had just happened in front of us. So Dad gets the mic and he's just, he kind of looks into the crowd really intently and he said, Jesus loves you. You guys all have a great day. You're dismissed.